Hello YouTube, uh, I thought I would just show you something I learned today. Uh, my van was experiencing a vacuum leak and had all the symptoms of a vacuum leak and my engine light had been coming on. So I uh, pulled the code and found out that there was something wrong with the EGR system. This is called an EGR valve. Uh, it has something to do with how uh, your exhaust recirculates back into your engine. Uh, so according to the Haynes manual, you can manually depress the, uh, the valve while the engine is at normal operating temperature and upon depressing if you notice a drop in the engine speed then the valve is working properly. So then it goes into another diagnostic step where you have to have a uh, vacuum gauge and I don't have any of that stuff. So here's what I did. You can think of this as an alternate way to uh, test for a vacuum leak on an EGR valve. Uh, suction right here when a vacuum is applied will push down the valve like that. Now you hold your thumb over it, notice this one pops right back. And here's the new piece right here that I just picked up from the auto zone. You notice on this one when depressed, first of all it's a lot harder to depress because all the air is escaping from here. If you put your thumb on it, notice it will not pop back until you release that vacuum. So just another way to uh, diagnose whether you have a vacuum leak somewhere in your EGR valve, which this one obviously does. Now, as far as uh, removing the EGR valve and replacing it, it's relatively easy. Uh, it's a little harder on the vehicle I was working on because uh, you'll notice I'm inside the vehicle right now. I had to take the doghouse out, but normally you should be able to access it from under the hood. You'll notice I have removed the air cleaner just so I can get easier access to the two bolts that you see right there. Uh, it's simple to put on, you just, uh, it's just those two bolts to take it off and put it back on. Uh, don't worry about buying a new gasket. If you're replacing the whole valve, it usually comes with one. All right, so here we are with the new EGR valve in place. You can see right there, uh, I've replaced the vacuum line leading to it. See I put the air cleaner back where it belongs. That was all I had to remove to get to it and I hope this was helpful.